Hey, here we are. We're making a biosynthesis basket. Uh, we're doing a special uh, all mat adaptation. Uh, we'll call it just uh, for for lack of a better naming. Um, we are going to take Dr. Kevin Novak's uh, BCB BCBs uh, that usually go in a sump, and uh, we're going to implement them in a canister filter in a unique way. Traditionally, you can't put one of these into a canister filter because the water will flow through the basket and clog it up. So the water has to be able to flow around it. So what we're doing here is we're going to show you uh, my version of how to do that and maybe Dr. Kevin Novak will even provide feedback on, on what he thinks about this design. Uh, I'll just call it the Alm design or the Luke design or canister, whatever you want. Anyways, um, I'm using uh, this kitty litter here that I found at Walmart. It's both 100% uh, natural, fragrance free, no added, nothing. And uh, when you rinse it, um, it ends up looking like this. So very nice, does not clump, does not melt, does not turn into mush, nothing like that. You just give it a, a little bit of a rinsing and it's uh, good to go. What I've also done is you'll see a little bit of red in there. What I've done is I've taken the uh, fluorite red because uh, it has a, a good amount of iron in it, substituting that for laterite, and uh, gave that a just a super quick rinse because it's very very dusty, like milky. Rinsed that and uh, put in. I'm putting just a little bit of that in there, and then we're going to add a core of fluorite in the center of the basket also. So, what we're doing here to get to the heart of how we're we're using this uh, this uh. Uh, Luke adaptation is instead of having the basket in a canister filter where, it th where the water would flow through it, that wouldn't work. So what I've essentially done here is taken this canister filter and here's the baskets and what we're doing is we're cutting out these, I've cut out the center of these. So this basket's going to sit in the center of this. So there's an inch on all sides here. So an inch so water can flow completely around this basket that I've just made out of mesh. It's just a mesh basket here and uh, I just sewed it together with fishing line. It took forever, it was a real pain, but <laughs> I think it turned out well. Um, so there's a, at least an inch around all sides of this. So there's also going to be two inches at the bottom of this beneath. So the water will come, water will come down the water goes down here and there's two inches at the bottom and then an inch around the whole top of this, an inch so the water can flow all around here. You can see the, the spacing on there where the water flows all around it. And then there's an inch of water space on the top of this basket before it flows out. There is also this um, on the top of the cash filter and there's a there's a there's like a mesh uh, foam pre-filter in here. So the water will be filtered, uh, pre-filtered with just a simple mesh filter and then the water will go down, flow around the basket and out. Uh, and uh, you know you can cut these out in, in any canister filter really. Um, probably one that's best as something with a pre-filter and you can stick a basket in it and the water will flow all around it. Now I don't see how this is any different from uh, sticking a basket in a sump where the water flows around it because the water will flow around this basket even though it's in a canister filter and go around it. Now this is great because you know not not a lot of freshwater people have sumps so this is basically a way to implement uh, biosynosis clarification baskets in an anoxic filtration system that Dr. Kevin Novak has been so awesome in sharing and teaching us about and it's a way for people to implement that commonly um, just by using a simple canister filter which you know in, anybody can add to, to almost any tank. So we're going to uh, stick these in there and then we're going to start adding in our uh, clay with a little bit of fluorite mixed into it. Now what I'm going to do to get a core center of fluorite is I'm actually going to uh, take off these paper towels here and use this, this paper towel center here. Uh, cardboard here and I'm going to take that center and uh, I'm going to put that in here 
uh, you'll you'll see the cardboard in the center there, and then I'll fill this up with with kitty litter and with a teeny bit of fluoride in it, and then I'll also fill up this cardboard full of fluoride and then pull the cardboard out and voila, a core of fluoride. So let's get going. There we go, putting these in there. I thought this was a little better view how it's cut out and you can see the water will flow all the way through and around, uh, not through, um, around this BCB basket. Um, not through it, so um, it's gonna leave about, uh, you can see the the bottom one there, so we're gonna start placing this in and add some more. Okay, we got the basket in there. Uh, I can see there's plenty of space for the water to flow around and not through this BCB basket. Okay, so now we need to fill it up and put a core of fluoride in it and then secure this top down. Let's do that. So basket's in, fluoride's getting filled in the middle and the clay slash slight fluoride mix is getting filled in all around. So far, so good. The other good thing about this is that, you know, sumps are a lot of time limited by, by sizes um, and whatnot. This particular basket measures six and a half by six inches by nine and a half inches. So comparing that to a four by four by four basket, this is worth 5.75 to six baskets a four by four. So pretty decent size, um, all things considered. Um, in one canister filter, you can have uh, five to six BCB baskets in, the, in this Luke way. All right, almost full. We got the core out. Uh, if you use a paper towel, it helps as you're, as you're pulling it out to slightly tap down the center with a stick uh, or um, in my case, the back of a fishing net <laughs> pull. Um, that way, um, kind of it kind of does crumble a little bit as you're pulling it out, so kind of tap down the center of it so that way the fluorite stays um, in the center. And uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down and try to s probably sew together some fishing string. Tie up this side and this side. Probably sew all three sides. Leave one side open and maybe try to cram it a little bit more full. And um, and then uh, we should be good to go from there. All right, there we go. All filled up and the lid sewed on top. So you can see there's space for the water to flow all around the basket. Um, it's about a, about an inch, maybe a little more on this side. Probably about an inch on this side, maybe a little less. Uh, two inches on the bottom of the filter, the basket, and there'll be an inch of water on the top before the water gets sucked back in um, with the pre-filter going through here. So we've got a, a good mess going on here in the kitchen. And we're going to add this to the triple decker over here. Um, the sump is currently occupied by an algae scrubber, so we couldn't put any in the in in there. So we're just going to add it right onto the side here, and uh, we should be good to go. So there you have it. Uh, not many people, not too many people have a sump. Um, so uh, I'm going to give this a try. And hopefully it works. Uh, I read a lot on uh, Dr. Kevin Novak's site and uh, his his website. You probably have a lot of questions, but you know I would say 90% uh, of them will be answered on there. You can even search um, his blog um, for keywords and answer even more of your questions there. So there you have it, the Luke Way BCB in a canister. Here's a picture of that uh, pre-filter sponge filter. Thought I'd show you real quick. Um, so that that's a minor pre-filter, probably better to have a better pre-filter, but this uh, this sump also has some bunch of sock filters in it. Lights are actually turned off on the tank. It's actually took me forever to do this, um, but finally finished. So this is gonna go on top. We're gonna turn it on 
and uh, see how it goes. Love to hear your feedback over comments. Uh, if you think it's a great idea or the idea sucks, <laughs> uh, always looking for constructive criticism. Or maybe if you know a, have a good way to build it, also, let me know. Uh, if you don't, if you think it sucks, then let me know what you think is better. Uh, hopefully, you guys like it, and hopefully, I think it will work. Um, we'll give it a try here, and I'll let you know the results. Just to show you guys how clouded up this got at first, so. I'm going to put on these felt socks here and uh, hopefully it gets, gets cleared up by the morning. <laughs>